This is Lindsay Hilson here in Alexandria. I've been out and about on the streets this morning. There are still quite a lot of tanks on street corners. But what's really interesting is that many of them have taken their guns down. And we spoke to one uh, lieutenant. He said that those were their orders to put their weapons inside the tanks to show the people that they are not going to shoot at them. And they were also erecting on the tanks these yellow and blue flags, which I'm told are what they put up to show that it's a state of emergency. But they do seem to be saying that the army is with the people. We then went to uh, the main mosque here, which is called the Al-Qaeda Ibrahim Mosque. And there were several thousand people gathered there, as there have been pretty much every day for the last week. And it was a relaxed atmosphere. People were holding all sorts of different banners. There were two little kids, a boy and a girl. One was holding up a banner saying, if you let go, we'll let go. And the other one's banner said, the liar says the demonstrations are small. Some people were holding up banners in English. One of them read, Mr. Obama, don't bet on a loser. And another one was, Egypt is tired, just leave. Another one, leave Mubarak, Tel Aviv is your home. All these people were coming up to us, were very enthusiastic to, to talk, and they were very clear that the president moves by appointing a vice president and 14 new cabinet ministers were not enough. They were saying what we want is for President Mubarak to go. He must leave. It's not enough to make these minor adjustments. There are still no police on the streets of Alexandria. It's the people who have formed popular committees. They are the ones who control the roads. And so there are roadblocks everywhere, but they're friendly roadblocks. And you wave and smile, and uh, they let you through. We're expecting a big demonstration this afternoon. I'm told that the roads into Alexandria have now been cut off, so people will not be able to come in from outside. But what I'm being told by the people on the streets is that they do plan to rally in large numbers. The army does not plan to shoot or to stop them. So we will have to wait and see what happens. But certainly Alexandria, in some ways, Egypt's intellectual capital, its largest port. This is a place where there seem to be many thousands of people who are determined to carry on demonstrating until the government of President Mubarak falls. This is Lindsay Hilson for Channel 4 News in Alexandria.